a pleasure to be able to talk to you about the Dome V. It's so thrilled to have Dr. Kilmer here. I have the best person here to talk about that. Our focus was primarily on coming up with a replacement for treating difficult vascular malformations like Paul Weinstein's. We wanted to try and push the boundaries and see what could be done. And the first thing we looked at um, is cryogen. Basically, it's an easy way to say you can bypass the epidermis by having that. Bigger spot size, better penetration, higher probability of getting the vessel, but you've got the safety mm -hmm. of saying, I can use that spot size because I'm freezing that epidermis. So when we built the Derma V and I remember coming yeah. to you said, we've got to try this. I don't know whether, I don't know. I just don't know because we've never had a laser that had the same spot size, the same fluence, the same cooling, yeah. everything the same. Only thing that was changing was subpulses versus no subpulses. Yeah. Well, and the other areas that we need to go big, like Poikidermo Savat and other things. But again, I just want to go back to you uh, disbelievers in like the larger spot size. Remember, with the larger spot size, you're going to get more forward scatter and you're going to get um, deeper effective fluids. So this is pulse dilates right here. And you're going to get your typical response. And so what we're going to see next is we'll go to the Doma V side. Now, of course, we were using the tracking here because it's such a large area. So that just allowed us to get really, really nice overlap. We definitely know the PDL works, right? We know the V-beam works and it worked great, um, but it was really nice to see the area that we treated with the Doma V. I'm a little bit lower fluence, larger spot size. I'm gonna let you run with this next one because this was the first aesthetic patient that we treated. I tried the sub milli and the sub micro and just wanted to see w which would be better. So the swelling isn't as much with this um, device as when you're using the higher energies. This is a, a case of poikiloderma of Savat, and two months out, um, some micro um, did best when we did a little, few little pulses just to kind of test it. Whoa. And he was like, why didn't we do this before? I'm like, uh, It didn't happen? exist. <laughs> and in this case, this woman had had no improvement in the previous two um, pulse dye laser treatments. So now she's had um, four treatments. They're one month apart to get this result. This is one that a lot of people would have said, no way to 532, I'm not gonna Oh try. yeah, I know. Uh, but really nice results, as you can see here. So this is an interesting one, because this is a skin type four. Yeah. Uh, and you notice that there's that um, 10 milliseconds of cooling at the end, of course, for comfort, but also in the beginning to protect that epidermis. There are other things that you can do with Doma V. Absolutely, so Omar Ibrahimi is very near and dear to my heart. He's an extremely smart scientist, fabulous clinician. You don't go for whitening like you would with a Q-switch or a picosecond yeah. laser. But it then gets browner with a little bit of time. Patients are pretty comfortable, really comfortable afterwards. Yeah. So this is a 14 millimeter spot. These are the exact same settings that were on the last uh, slide, by the way. So this is a bruise, and actually we looked at with both sub milli and um, some micro second pulses. So I've been very happy working with it. I, I like playing with new toys. I love have the flexibility to do different, not only pulse widths, but pulse structures within that pulse. You can do two passes. And what I really want to play with now is doing two to three, so don't get scared, more passes with Port Weinstein with maybe a little bit lower energy, but utilizing all these different pulse structures so that we can do better at one treatment instead of bringing these kids back in. Because one of the questions was about how do you how do you decide on the variable sequential pulsing, which I think we, we covered a little bit, but maybe you can yeah. um, say how how it's how your approach has changed. You know, now well over eighteen months, two years yeah. now we've been. Wow, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, I would say that I usually have a pretty good idea based on the size of the structure. Like, you know, is it baby port wines, older port wine saying, but I have been fooled enough that I'll literally just do test pulses and see what happens. And then whatever you do the first time, you can always judge how they kind of did with that for their second treatment. I have to thank you and have thank my engineers as well. And uh, if people need any, uh, have further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your sales rep or the marketing team. With that, I think we'll say good night and switch it back over to you, Dan. So thank you all for joining. Thank you.